the city of St. Louis now has 20,000 vacant lots and 5,500 vacant buildings. That's 25,000 vacant properties that are not being used productively. All of that vacant property would present a great opportunity, except that the properties are scattered. They're not all in one place. Going back to Mayor Shamel, Mayor Bosley, uh, folks in the city of St. Louis have tried to come up with an idea to assemble property, and they've been unable to do it. It is extremely difficult and extremely expensive. The idea of the land assembly tax credit may not be perfect, but it is by far the best idea anyone has come up with in the last 30 years. If we can spur new development, whoever does it, we will generate more tax revenues for the state of Missouri and the city of St. Louis. But more importantly, we will bring new investment, new private investment, better housing, improved neighborhood amenities, and jobs to neighborhoods that have seen disinvestment for five decades. Neighborhoods that were lost long ago could be brought back to life. We have to break the mold, we have to think boldly, and that's why Mayor Slay strongly supports the Land Assembly tax credit provision of this legislation. Thank you. Questions of the Mayor's Office? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'm Reverend James Morris. I represent the Moses, the Metropolitan Organization, strengthening and empowering society, some 25 uh, faith-based organizations in North St. Louis. It's not often that I get to uh, come to this assembly and um, in support of, I am in support of HB1 at this time. Um, it's not often that I get to uh, follow Jeff Rankford and uh, support much of what he puts forward. <laughs> but uh, because of the economic uh, stimulus that it would promise for North St. Louis, uh, I and the groups I represent, we are in favor of this uh, bill because of what we believe it will do. Uh, for the betterment of our community. We are in need of jobs. We are in need of housing. Um, many of my community um, don't particularly uh, like the idea or are afraid of it, and I think, so I think it's because they're not clear as to what the development would be um, or who will be doing it. Um, the organization that I represent, we're in favor of it because it gets economic development on the table up front for the first time in a long time in St. Louis. And so we're in support of, and uh, we look forward to uh, what it will mean for the community, not only in housing, but also in job creation. And I thank you so much for your time. Good afternoon, my name is Robert Tillman. I live in the 19th Ward in the city of St. Louis, and uh, I've just spent uh, the better part of two and a half years recapturing my block, not my neighborhood, but my block. And I think that I'm really in support of this program because any kind of development at this time would provide a substantial credit to the community and reestablish neighborhoods, and that's what we're all about. So I, too, support this wholeheartedly. I represent Block Unit 1629, uh, 19th Ward, St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And uh, please fill out a witness form, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Question to the gentleman? Uh, Representative Hubbard. Yeah, please proceed. How you doing, gentlemen? Thanks, sir. Good. Uh, how long have you been living in the 19 Ward? Uh, over 25 years. The same neighborhood, same block. I've seen a drastic change. I've seen it going from residences to vacant lots, which we as residents cannot acquire. You're saying you feel that this, this bill is a step in the right direction for the revitalization of the 19 Ward? I do believe so. I believe that uh, new development, construction will bring jobs. It will also revitalize the community where certain developers have gotten large tracts of land. Uh, and they couldn't have done this without city help. I have tried uh, unsuccessfully to acquire lots next to my adjacent property and have not been able to do so because I can't come forward with a blueprint or a program or something that I'm going to implement on that property. So I see a uh, if you have a developer that's willing to put his money out and invest in that community, then it's a welcome treat. Thank you, gentlemen. 